Good morning, Irwin Art with Central Farm Service. It's February 2nd. We've been going through a lot of data. I just sifting through thousands of acres of data, looking at things. And what I'm here to do is, is try to find what, what's a strong return on investment for you, the grower. And one of the things we're really starting to see is stabilized nitrogen in the spring. We've always done a lot of stabilized nitrogen in the fall. Um, springtime, we haven't done as much. So we've started adding a product called Instinct with a lot of our uh, our spring applications of urea, our 32%, and we're definitely seeing a yield bump there. So you start looking at these corn hybrids. Well, a lot of the hybrids, as we shift the nitrogen later, even in a side dress application that we stabilized with, with Instinct, we're seeing a, a pretty darn big yield response. And I, I really think the new genetics in the corn are pushing uh, that demand for nitrogen later. We do a lot of tests and trials, and, and last year we did some nitrogen super late and <clears throat> with instinct and saw a great response. I really think we need to change our thinking on nitrogen again and, and make sure there's nitrogen, you know, enough nitrogen early that corn gets to about waist high before it really starts using a lot of nitrogen but you need nitrogen all the way to the end. And I think by adding instinct in there and, and stretching that out longer in the season, that's where our, our higher yields are coming from. Um, we did a lot of uh, learning blocks this past year and it, it's just dramatic. So I think using instinct, which is around $8 an acre, I mean, we got, we got a good price on corn. I've, hopefully it's around at least $4, $5 this fall coming up so it's a solid return on investment i'm talking you know on the range of of 10 bushels a lot of our trials were some were more dramatic depending on the soil type if you have a more coarse soil it definitely showed stronger but make sure you have enough nitrogen late in the season for those for those corn plants we don't want to run out of gas and uh, jeopardize any yield thank you and have a good day